For today's video, we will answer a suggested problem given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. So given this functional equation, f of x plus 2 over x minus 2 equals x squared plus 4x plus 4 over 8x, then our goal in this question is to solve for the value of f of x. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now suppose you pause this video, now let's see if you got the correct answer. Alright, so given this functional equation, f of x plus 2 over x minus 2 equals x squared plus 4 x plus 4 over 8x, our goal is to find the value of just f of x. Now in this video, I will answer this question in two different ways. So the first one is the usual way, which is using the inverse function. So this method is the usual approach to answer this kind of question. But I will show you the method of the claim molding technique. So using just three steps, three molding, we solve or we can get the value of f of x. Alright, so let's start with the inverse function. Now what is the concept behind the inverse function? Now here's the property of inverse function. So if we have y equals f of x and we have f inverse of x, if we compose f of x to f inverse of x, the result is x and vice versa. So f of f inverse of x turn into x. This is very useful because our goal is to find the value of just f of x. So now the next question is how do we find the inverse of a function? So here's the steps. So the steps in finding an inverse of a function, first is change the function notation f of x to y. The our given is f of x, so let's use g of x instead of f of x. All right, so change g of x to y. The second step is change all x to y's and y's to x, or simply interchange x and y. The third step is solve for y, and the fourth step, replace y with g inverse of x so instead of f let's use g all right so using the steps we can now find the inverse of any function that we want in this case we want the inverse of this function x plus 2 over x minus 2 because our goal is to make this equal to x so let g of x be equal to x plus 2 over x minus 2 now the steps the first one is we need to replace this g of x into y. And then let's interchange x and y. So all x becomes y and all y becomes x. So this becomes x equals y plus 2 over y minus 2. And the third step is we can now solve for the value of y. So let's focus on this equation. Now, this is very easy to do because what we're going to do here is to multiply both sides by y minus 2 to eliminate y minus 2 on the denominator. So, if we do that, we get x multiplied by y minus 2 equals y plus 2. Next, let's distribute this x to y minus 2. And our goal is to solve for the value of y. So, what we're going to do is to add 2x on both sides and subtract y on both sides. And since we want to eliminate the variable y, so let's factor out this common factor y. And divide both sides by y minus 1. And there you go. We have y equals 2x plus 2 over x minus 1. And we can now replace this with g inverse of x. That is the inverse of this g of x. Now, let's use or let's prove this identity. So if we use composition of function, if we compose g of g inverse of x, let's see if it is true that this is just x. All right, so let's do that very quick. So let's get our function g of x. And then let's replace all of this x with g inverse of x. So all of this x becomes 2x plus 2 over x minus 1. All right. So this x becomes 2x 
plus 2 over x minus 1, which is the g inverse of x. This x becomes also this value, and this x becomes, again, 2x plus 2 over x minus 1. Now, let's simplify. But take note, this term, this is just the g inverse of x. Now, let's simplify the right-hand side of our equation. First, let's combine the numerator. So take note we have here over 1 on the denominator. So this will give us 2x plus 2 plus 2 times the quantity x minus 1 all over x minus 1. We will do the same thing on the denominator. So if we do that, let's combine this. And then let's distribute this 2 to x minus 1. So we have 2x minus 2. On the denominator, let's distribute this negative 2, 2x, two and positive negative 1. So we have negative 2x plus 2. Now, positive 2 and negative 2, this is just 0. Positive 2x and negative 2x, this is just 0. Now, if we combine this, 2x plus 2x, this is just 4x. And 2 plus 2, this is just 4. Now divide 4x over x minus 1 to 4 over x minus 1. This will give us 4x over x minus 1 multiplied by the reciprocal, which is x minus 1 over 4. Now we can cancel out this 4, the factor 4 on the numerator and denominator. And also we can cancel out this x minus 1 on the numerator and the denominator. So this remains as x. So this is true. But if we compose this g inverse of x to g of x, we get x. And this is very effective because we can now find f of x. All right. Now, what we're going to do is to replace all of this x, all of this x, oh my gosh, all about x, with 2x plus 2 all over x minus 1, or the g inverse of x. So if you do that, we have this form. Yikes. <laughs> By the way, let's simplify this. We know if we simplify this part, we get a value of just x. All right, so we did this before. This is just g of g inverse of x. Now, let's focus on the right-hand side of our equation. So let's simplify this. 2x over 2 over x minus 1 raised to the power of 2. We can rewrite this as x 2x plus 2. 2 raised to the power of 2 over x minus 1 raised to the power of 2. And we can also rewrite this as follows. We have 4 multiplied by 2x plus 2 all over x minus 1. And also, we can rewrite this denominator as 8 multiplied by 2x plus 2 all over x minus 1. Now, the reason is we multiply this numerator and denominator by x minus 1 raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2. So to eliminate this, and eliminate 1x minus 1, so the numerator, let's multiply this by 1 factor of x minus 1, and 4 multiplied by x minus 1 raised to the power of 2. We will do the same thing on the denominator. So cancel out 1 factor of x minus 1, and multiply 2x plus 2 with 1 factor of x minus 1. Now, this works because x minus 1 squared over x minus x minus 1 squared is just 1. All right. So we have this. Now, let's simplify more. Take note that we can cancel out this factor of 2 in this term, 2x plus 2. So this will give us 2 multiplied by x plus 1. And we can now multiply this 2 to the number outside this factor, which is 4. So we have here 8 multiplied by x plus 1. We will do the same thing in this factor of 2. So we have 2 times 8 will have 16 multiplied by x plus 1. Now what is the reason? Because here, x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 1, this is just x squared minus 1. Now, let's simplify. 2x plus 2 raised to the power of 2, if we expand this, we get 4x squared plus 8x plus 4. And distribute this 8 to x squared minus 1. 1, this is just 8x squared minus 8. Now, x minus 1 raised to the power of 2, this is just x squared minus 2x plus 1, and multiply this by 4, all of this term. 
So this will give us 4x squared minus 8x plus 4. And also, the denominator 16 multiplied by x squared minus 1, don't multiply this yet. Because maybe we can eliminate 16 in the latter part of our solution. So let's simplify the numerator. One thing is for sure, we can eliminate this positive 8x and negative 8x. This is just 0. Also, 4 plus 4 is 8 minus 8. This is just 0. Next, 4x squared plus 8x squared plus 4x squared. This is just 4 plus 8 plus 4 or simply 16x squared. There you go. We can now eliminate the 16 on the numerator and 16 on the denominator. So f of x becomes x squared over x squared minus 1. And that is the answer to this question. So using inverse function, we get f of x equals x squared over x squared minus 1. All right. Now, how about using the clay molding technique? And I'll tell you. Using just three steps, three molding, we get this value, f of x equals x squared over x squared minus 1. So let's begin. So using the clay molding technique, first, let's replace all x with x plus 2. Now, why we do that? What is the reason? Because our goal in this denominator x minus 2, this becomes x. Because if we replace all x with x plus 2, the denominator x plus 2 minus 2, this is just 0. So the denominator is just x. And take note, all of this variable x becomes x plus 2. This is how molding techniques work. Okay, all of this x becomes x plus 2. Alright, so now let's simplify this. x plus 2 plus 2, this is just x plus 4. Now let's simplify the... Right hand side is very simple. x plus 2 raised to the power of 2. This is just x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now distribute this 4 to x plus 2. This is just 4x plus 8. And distribute this 8 to x plus 2. This is just 8x plus 16. Now combine like terms. On the numerator, 4x plus 4x is just 16. 8x rather. And 4 plus 8 plus 4. This is just 16. Now at this point, let's simplify first this expression because this expression, we can write this as x over x plus 4 over x because this x over x, this is just 1. Therefore, using our first molding, f of x plus 2 over x minus 2 becomes f of 1 plus 4 over x. Just first molding. Now the second molding, we want this to become x. So let's replace all x with 4 over x. Because 4 over 4 over x, or cancel out, this is just x. So let's replace all x. This x becomes 4 over x. This x becomes 4 over x. This x becomes 4 over x. This x right over here becomes 4 over x. All right. Now, 4 over 4 over x, we know this is just 4 multiplied by x over 4. So cancel out 4. So this is just x. Now, f of 1 plus x, 1 plus x is the same thing as x plus 1. So let's use x plus 1 instead. Now let's simplify the right-hand side. 4 over x raised to the power of 2, this is just 16 over x squared. 8 multiplied by 4 over x, this is just 32 over x. And also, 8 multiplied by 4 over x, this is just 32 over x. Now, to clean this up, let's multiply the numerator and the denominator with x squared so to eliminate x squared on the denominator if we do that we get 16 plus 32x plus 16x squared all over 32x plus 16x squared and now we can factor out a factor of 16 on the numerator because 32 is just 16 times 2 so we have 16 multiplied by 1 plus 2x plus x squared and on the denominator we have 16 multiplied by 2x plus x squared and can eliminate this 16. This is just 1. Now, we can factor this. 1 plus 2x plus x squared as follows. We have 1 plus x raised to the power of 2. And also, why not, on the denominator, let's factor out x. Now, 
1 plus x, we can write this also as x plus 1. And this 2 plus x, we can write this as x plus 2. Why not? So using second molding, from f of x plus 2 over x minus 2, this becomes f of x plus 1. Now, for the last molding, to make this x, let's replace all x with x minus 1, the opposite operation of positive 1. Because if we replace all x with x plus minus 1, this is just negative 1 plus 1, this is just 0. So we have f of x. And that's our goal, f of x. Of course, this is our goal. And we expect to get x squared over x squared minus 1 at the end. Now, let's simplify the right-hand side. Negative 1 plus 1, this is just 0. So this is just x squared on the numerator. There you go. We have here x squared on the numerator. Now, negative 1 plus 2, this is just positive 1. And we know x squared. Minus 1 multiply by x plus 1. This turns out to be x squared minus 1. And there you go. We have your x squared over x squared minus 1 as our f of x. So using play molding technique, we get also the same thing. f of x equals x squared over x squared minus 1. So using these two different methods, we get that f of x equals x squared over x squared minus 1. And as always, we are done.